Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own Skyblock um, map on, a, like, the Bedrock platform. Obviously, it works on PS4, this will work on PS4, this will also work on Xbox. Um, obviously, as console players, are, uh, it's not as easy to get a map for free, um, unless you're on Java. Obviously, there's some on the store, but obviously, they cost real money, um, and some of them can be quite expensive. For example, this map here is £5. Um, I don't think it's worth it in any way at all i'm um, not when you can just make it yourself and make a pretty decent one at that anyway so um it's also worth mentioning that if you do um, happen to fall off on this kind of world, it's not like just a super flat world where you're going to hit the floor. You're actually going to fall into the void, which is like gives it an authentic kind of skyplot feel. Um, again, there's so many tutorials um, online where it's just literally make a super flat world um, and literally nerd pole up and then make yourself a um, island. However, I don't think that's too, too impressive, to be honest. Anyone can do that. Um, so this uh, way takes away um, like any existing blocks, anything underneath it um so i'm going to show you exactly how i did it but before i do that make sure you go and join um the discord we're ever closer to 200 members again um hit me up on the social media as well um but with all that being said let's get straight on to the video okay so straight off the bat you'll notice if we go into the settings and the world type um is actually an old world okay which means it's um it is confined it's not an infinite world so um again i don't think we need an infinite world for skyblock um there's the seed that you just seen it so if we go and put that seed into a brand new world um, and make it an old world it will look a little bit like this. okay so this is the sky block map that you've seen in the in, in the beginning of the video um but without any editing whatsoever um done to it this is an original um world an old style world it's as you can see it's very very small um, however, we don't need a lot of room for Skyblock, and basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the fill command to literally remove every single block um, in this, and this is going to make us our, our Skyblock um, map. Again, I think this is one of the best ways to do it. Again, it does take a little bit of time, but it's definitely, definitely worth doing it. I mean, you can make numerous copies of it once you've done it, and it's super awesome. Okay, so when it comes to picking the correct seed for you, um, obviously, to make this Skyblock map, you want to be looking at something like without extreme hills because you're going to have a lot more work in removing the blocks also um with um less water now i know this map itself has got water on it but um there's other old style seeds that have got a lot more water on the world okay so you've got to be really careful because water is a real real big pain um when you're using the fill command however um i'll go into that a little bit more um throughout the video okay so firstly you want to go to zero zero on, um, on your map um a nerd pole all the way up higher than your highest point on that map okay leave a block and then you can destroy that nerd pole as long as you've got a block in the air because that's where your center island's going to be um and that way it's going to be right in the center of your map which is um uh, perfect really that's exactly what we want and as you can see there's our block in the middle okay then make yourself to any corner of the map and um obviously as you can see here the reason we're going to be using the uh, fill command is because it would take way too long if i was just going to destroy this by hand as you can see it, it would it'd just be stupid of me to uh, destroy it by hand um so obviously we're going to use the command tool now what you need to do is you need to obviously find the corner that you're going to be starting on obviously i'm going to be starting on this corner you then want to pick out a reasonable size section um i'm going to go to the other corner um perhaps around about um let me go a bit further back um in total you can remove thirty-two thousand blocks so we can fill to thirty-two thousand blocks with air so um if we get a big enough section we we can actually remove like five layers of the section at a time and we can um, keep doing that process so it's pretty simple once you know how okay so you want to take the coordinates of the spot directly um, diagonal from your start well where you're going to be doing your command from and obviously this is my spot right in the corner so um, I want to take those coordinates that I literally took over there and we're going to put those in the command Okay, so the command that we're actually going to be using is um, slash fill, the coordinates that um, I told you to take down a second ago, three dashes, which is your current location, and then air, which is the block that we're filling it with. Um, okay, you can take a screenshot of that if you didn't quite catch that. Um, but basically, once we apply that, as you can see, you, you'll notice some of the blocks have actually been removed um, and changed with air. Now, obviously, the height, um, the, you, that's the only thing out of the coordinates you're going to need to change, okay? So every time, as you can see, I think it was on 60 before, we'd go back onto it, we'd press the up button to get our previous um, command back. 
Um, and the only, as you can see, it's on 64, the height is. So we'd need to change that, for instance. So say we start on 80, we'd put ourselves on 75. That gives us a, um, from 80 to 75, um, they're the layers that are going to get filled with air. And as you can see, um, obviously, um, if you do too many, it will tell you that you've got too many. Um, it's just about getting the flow and finding the right section um, and the right amount because you can get this bang on sometimes. And obviously, the quicker you learn how to do this, um, the, the faster it's going to be. Again, um, this is going to be so much faster if you've got a keyboard as well. And once you get into the flow of this, you can do this reasonably fast. Um, as you can see on the screen now, I'm going down five blocks every time. I'm then putting in the command and then it's removing all of those blocks, which is super, super awesome. Um, again, this might seem a long-winded method for you. However, I guarantee you this is probably one of the best ways to do it. Um, again, as you can see in the background now, there's some water that stays up, but simply to get rid of that, what you're going to want to do is go to the height of that water and just do the same command again, and that will just get rid of it. Um, you want to make sure you get rid of the water straight away and don't let it flow down to the void, or you're going to have some real problems. Like I said, water is such a pain, but um, you can really make some progress um, using this method once you get like um, into it. Like I said, I think this map took me total an hour just to remove the stuff now an hour seemed like a long time but um it's saving you some money you know and again this is like a quite an authentic um feel to the map as well okay so at this point i'm on my last few layers that i've got to remove and uh, as you can see i'm just going to put the um command in for the very last time oh, i just got one more layer let me just go down to layer zero remove the last block obviously it's important to get rid of the bedrock at the bottom as well make sure you do that so let me just um, change the height um, of the coordinates and there we go that is literally the whole of the map being filled with air now what we can do is we can go to our um, diamond block that we put in the center of our map um, and we can make our way up there we can actually start making the actual island now so uh, let's get on to that Okay, so from that block that we've marked out, we're going to want to obviously go to that block and we're going to want to go down, um, nerd pole all the way down, uh, probably about 50 blocks from where it is. I mean, it'll be different where you are. It's just past your highest point on the map. So obviously we want to come down just to bring our main island down a little bit before we start actually building our main island. However, this isn't an actual essential um, method or part of the uh, build. Um, it's just optional. And again, I think it makes it look, look super professional when the uh, uh, the coordinates are 0, 50, 0. I mean, it, it just looks super good, you know what I mean? So, um, again, I probably wouldn't give this a miss because um, it, it definitely, like I said, it makes it look and feel a lot more real, if that makes sense. Okay, so once you've done that, you can destroy the unnecessary blocks and then just keep the um, one at level 50. Um, once you've done that, we can actually go and get the resources we need to start making the island. So we're going to need one piece of bedrock. Um, we're going to need some grass blocks as well. We're also going to need some normal dirt. Um, we are going to need one piece of ice and a piece of lava. Obviously, that's for uh, to put in the chest. Obviously, we're going to need a chest as well. Um, alongside a sapling and some bone meal. So, I'll just find all of those now. Um, there's the lava. Um, let me just grab a chest. Again, um, I've, we've got the ice. Let me grab a sapling and just some bone meal so we can grow the tree. Um, where's the bone meal? Oh, it's just there. Let's grab that. Okay, so um, obviously, first of all, what we're going to want to do, um, we're going to want to swap this diamond block for a um, piece of bedrock. So just go and place a block underneath or on the side or whatever. Remove that diamond block or whatever block you've got there. And then um, just place that um, bedrock there. And then we've got our bedrock holding. So then you want to get your um, dirt and just literally copy me. So um, I'm just going to put it around the edge like this. And I'm going to go for like the original skyblock kind of um, theme. So obviously you can be as creative as you want. Um, again, you don't have to do it um, exactly like this. But um, again, this is like the original um, skyblock kind of theme. So um, again, I don't know if this is exactly right. I may have to add some on the sides. But um, nonetheless, let's just add our second layer of dirt and then um we can have a look at it then i mean we can get a better look view of it from yeah i think we might have to add add some i'm not sure let's just put the last layer on oh oh wait let's change that uh for grass 
Um, let me throw this grass on the top. Um, and then we can see if we do need to add another one on. I think we might need to add, like, some on the sides. But it's not to worry. Like I say, I mean, be creative as you like. It doesn't have to be exactly right. Um, however, I think it looks better if this is going to be, um, like, proper sky block. I mean, it will look better if we do it right. So, um... Yeah, Let, let's place our chest down first, and then we can obviously get the items in the chest. Um, we'll place the chest here, and then obviously the tree in that corner over there. Um, let's place the tree, and hopefully, yeah, obviously if it goes to a big tree like this, not to worry, we can uh, obviously destroy it. But if you want a big tree, um, like I say, be creative as you like, you can keep this tree. Um, however, I just want it like not a small tree. Um, just a medium tree and I'll show you how I do that. I actually want to extend the island because I'm not happy with the size of it So all I'm gonna do is add another um, row on each side super easy um, And I think yeah, that that's pretty um, right. That's exactly how we want it I think that's um, the size of the original island on skyblock anyway But like I said, it doesn't matter. You can be as creative as possible with this You can really test yourself maybe even just do it with one block of dirt or one block of bedrock it's completely up to you but if you're looking for that original feel this is the way to go definitely um, do it exactly how I have um, again as you can see with the tree um, I don't want this small tree so what I'm going to do is remove it and as I was saying before what I can do is I can actually get myself a um, holder block um, if it if I carry on like this obviously the trees are just not going to be the right height but if I put a holder block about five blocks up on that leaf just there um, let me just go above one more or two more There we go, and then we just destroy those blocks underneath now if we plant the tree underneath it It can't grow any higher than that and there we go That's the perfect size tree in my opinion for skyblock. So um, now we've done that um, We obviously need to put the items in the chest Okay, so the only items that you're putting in the chest is the lava and the ice Obviously if you want to add some more items like some food for instance like I've got an apple I could put that in there. Um, it's entirely up to you and um, be as creative as you possibly can So again once you filled the chest up you can go ahead and add any other islands you want But um, obviously before you actually start playing you're gonna want to change your spawn spots um, So every time you die you obviously land on this island or even when you first spawn in you'll be landed on this island Okay, so it's super easy just go into the commands and it's the top one um, on the commands the custom commands anyway um, So if I fall now, um, obviously because we've just changed our spawn spot um, We will always spawn on top of our island, which is exactly what we want Okay, so there we have it your very own skyblock map So finally what you're gonna want to do is literally um, make a copy of this world um, when I say copy, I mean, so you've literally got two of them, okay? Um, that way, when you start playing, you've always got a fresh skyblock world. If you ever choose to start afresh, you can start afresh because you've got a copy of this world. Now, um, I would make this into a downloadable, like, map. However, I have no idea um, how to do that. However, I am up for, um, like, taking that into consideration and putting the link in the description. If someone wants to join the Discord um, and walk me through how to do a download link of the map for you guys, that would be a hell of a lot faster um, for you guys anyway. And I'm more than happy to do that. Um, but again, I have no idea how to do that. So, um, that is literally it for today's video. I will catch you on the next one.